Hi, 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 YouTube family. Um, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's scholarship, we are going to be talking about an opportunity that's open in Germany that's offering ma a master's scholarship for public policy and good government. And they call it Helmut Schmidt program for 2021, 2022. And this is um, sponsored by one of the largest exchange um, programs um, in Germany uh, for scholarships called the DAAD DAD for short. Um, if you're here for the first time, um, you're welcome. And if you have been here with us for a long time, you're the real MVP. Do subscribe to get notifications on all these um, scholarships. So if you were here for, with us for a while, you realized that there was a scholarship that opened by DAD, which was called the DAD Epos. Um, you see the suggestions up here. So they were offering 40 fully funded um, courses, master's courses um, funded by Epos. But this is quite different, slightly a bit different because it's looking at public policy and governance in question. Now, what they're saying is that they're supporting future leaders from developing countries. And we'll have a look at the list of the countries soon who want to promote democracy and social justice in their home country. Now, this is offering you a chance to acquire a master's degree in a master's program of a particular relevance of social, political, and economic development in the students' countries of origin. Now, let's look at who can apply. It's saying that highly qualified graduates from developing and emerging countries who have obtained a first higher education degree, which is known as undergraduate, in subject areas like political and social studies, economics, business administration, legal and administrative sciences. Now, what is funded? Now, what they are funding is um scholarships currently about 861 euros per month for a master's degree at germany's higher education institutions um academic courses and we'll look at the academic courses that you can apply but the courses have an international focus and are offered both in german or english now they are going to offer you health insurance that's going to cover in germany appropriate travel allowance from uh, from your country to germany and back and forth like that a study and a research grant, rent subsidies and family sub, uh, supplement, sorry, as applicable, um, preceding German language course in Germany. So you will be allowed to learn Germany for six months. And I think it's always good to be bilingual. You never know where this um, helps. Now, they said this participation is mandatory. Now, the following deviations regarding funding benefits apply for analysis and design of social protection systems program. Um, there will be an exception, so there will be no family supplement and, and a, s a, sub a sub place rate of 500 is paid in the fourth semester, a mandatory online semester in the student's country of origin or another country. Now, through all your studies, all scholarship holders of the Helmut Schmidt benefit from accompanying support services provided by the program coordinators at steady locations. Scholarship holders benefit from events and seminars that are organized. Um, there'll also be participation in interdisciplinary networking event. Now, any, any any other person that is holding a DART scholarship or have ever held a DART scholarship are exempted from this particular scholarships. Now, the available master's course that you'll be taking here is analysis and design of social protection systems. Peace and Conflict Studies, Development Studies, Masters of Development and Governance, and Master of Public Policy, Management in Non-Profit Organizations, Master of Governance and Public Policy, Master of Public Management. The deadline of the application is on the 31st of July 2021, and so do grab it as soon as possible so you can gather all your document that you need to apply for it. Are you eligible to apply or not? So let's find out whether you're eligible to apply. So you click on see list of countries here. Now it will bring a pop up for you to download a folder and I've already downloaded it. So that's why it's giving me that, but I'm just going to click on okay, then go like start to download. Then I'll open it. So we can see a list of countries um, from Western, Central, South, Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe, Central Asia, Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, um, Isaiah and Pacific 
and quite a number of them Latin America. So just scroll down through if your country is eligible to apply and um, go for it. Now to apply, um, you click on more details here. So when you have it, click on that. Now you realize that um, the, it gives you a brief overview of what the DAA DHEM on Schmilt program is about, which we've spoken about. Now this is the original platform for DAAD. So like I said, it's aiming to promote democracy and social justice in your home country, um, which is funded by the German Federal Foreign Aid Office. Now it will give you an opportunity to be able to offer a master's degree uh, of particular relevance to social, political, economic development in students of their country of origins. And so they are aiming to get graduate with first academic degree in political science, law, economics, administration, I think, and its related fields um, to pose as future leading positions in their home country. Now there's application form here, um, list of countries, frequently asked questions, information about the master's courses and the program um, book there. But before you click on the application form to jump into it, I recommend that you read um, these requirements up here um, just so you are abreast with what you're doing before you start. So I'll click on the application requirement. Now you have to, you realize that it's country specific. Um, so as usual, you know what I'm going to select. I'm going to select Ghana. So if you are um, obviously um, eligible to apply, I'll ask you to choose your country. Um, hopefully, it will just be slightly a bit different in terms of probably if you, some people will be asked to uh, post their document or some people will be asked to um, upload it or whatever um, or the embassies might change or something but I, I don't think it's going to be a vast difference so I choose Ghana for the country then I just use graduate then I show application requirement now when you click on um, application requirements you see that it says check the call for application you can have a click on here now you can print it um, or read as PDF whichever one obviously you find comfortable um, we are trying to save the environment as much as possible so I recommend that you don't print it but if you find reading um, quite um, difficult on your screen then you can go ahead and print it so I'm gonna click on the call for application now it's gonna pop up with um, a folder that I need to download so then I start to download then I open it so this document pops up for your application requirements it's quite in-depth and so I would recommend that do read it for your particular country so with this I'm using Ghana in focus one of the things that it will highlight here um, so some of the things we've spoken about earlier on now it's saying that irrespective of the courses they mentioned earlier on to apply um, they've realized that people with some work experience which includes internship and part-time jobs for example administration office government structure NGOs for international or international organizations tend to particularly benefit from this scholarship so they recommend that if you have all these involvement please do list them um, they are also saying here some of the things we've had to speak about it already um, so sort of one of the most important thing is that also the selection criterion is that the most important selection criterion is a higher education degree obtained with above average results um, language certificates um, um, will be recommended and that will vary depending on which country you're coming from um, a political or a social involve, involvement like the target group I mentioned earlier on evidence of internship or professional experience will also be taking into account a conclusive account of an applicant's academic and personal motivation for the study endeavor in Germany so do write a very comprehensive um, motivation as to why you want to study in Germany an account of an applicant's perspective upon returning to their home country now this following groups are not eligible so if you fall within that um, I mean there is no point applying but if it was me 
like I have been, I, I will apply anyways and I'll leave them in their hands but not be that hopeful. Now they are saying that applicants who have obtained their most recent higher education degree more than six years before submitting their application are not eligible. Now applicants who have resided in a country that is not included in the DAC list of countries, you can Google what DAC list of developing and emerging countries are and they'll pop up. So if you've stayed there for more than over 15 months at the time of application deadline, you are not eligible to apply. Now, anyone holding a master's degree in a similar field will not be eligible to apply unless you conclusively explain why they would want to obtain another master's degree for this course. And all courses of study have their own application requirements um, and you must meet them for um, interested applicant. Now they are saying that all applications should be submitted in English or in Germany. Now you should complete the DADD, uh, DAAD application form, sorry. Um, you can only apply to um, two courses of study from the list below. Now I'll show you in part two um, using an example on how I was able to use the form to apply as a module one. Um, for your research now you will need to draw up a single application for both higher education institutions and only one letter of motivation in this letter you need to explain in detail why you chose the respective courses of study as well as your reasons for prioritizing so that's like a letter of motivation if you do not know how to write a letter of motivation um, Above here, I'm going to put a suggested link. You can just click on it and open it and apply after. Now, step three, please send the application form to the higher education institutions of your choice, no more than two, along with the required documents. Scholarship applications are only accepted via the courses of study. Please submit your application document for the course of study and DAD scholarship to the higher education institution of your choice and not to DAD. So you would have to apply to the school. So if you've really watched that EPOS scholarship I did, you realize that I did that. You would have to apply to the school and ask that you are considered for Helmut Schmidt. I'll explain that in part two of this video. Now the relevant documentation documentation that you will need is the DAD application form. That's an application for a research or study scholarship, a single letter of motivation for both higher education institution. This should precisely account for your academic, professional, personal reasons for wishing to participate in the program, as well as a detailed explanation of your choice of courses of study and prioritization. This should not be more than two pages and must bear a current date and your signature. Now, you will need a gap-free curriculum vitae. You don't need to separate it. If possible, you can use the Europass template. I'll also put a link above on how I used, step-by-step -step on how I used a Europass to create a CV, and that should include information about your studies, your political or social involvement, any work experience, as well as a current date and signature. Now, you will need copies of your higher education degree certificates for sure, a copy of your transcript of records, go grab them, working time certificate for any internships, volunteering work or work experience. If you've done that and you've gone pro bono, go back to the company and ask them for um, um a working time certificate and that should bear date letterhead and stamp now reset language certificate for german or english if you have that english proficiency letter you could attach it or if you have got ielts or tofil or whatsoever you can attach it now you will need a recently written letter of reference uh, preferably from your current employer or from your university lecturer bearing a signature on the letterhead and need to be stamped not sealed in an envelope no 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 don't do that you're gonna attach it anyways so why seal it in an envelope um things that you should note is that please note that applications may be rejected for formal reasons if you submit any document that is difficult to read application addressed at more than two higher education institutions and or that do not contain a 
declare prioritization in the DART form and the letter of motivation will be excluded from the selection. Only applicants including all required documents will be considered. Applications sent to DART will not be forwarded to the respective higher institutions. Such application documents, including any attachment samples, will become the property of DART without any conversation, compensation, sorry, and this will not be returned. So what is the selection process? Um, the selection com committee will, will make a decision by October, November this year, 2021. Then the committee comprises professors from different courses of studies and representatives from DAD. Now, the candidates that were suggested for a scholarship are contacted by DAD and asked to upload their full documents to the DAD portal, which they will send to you. Please make sure that you do not you have full set of copies of all your application document. And I explained that in that episode, but I'm still going to use um, part two to explain a detailed way of how I would go about the process if I was going to it. So do watch part two. The selection process will be formalized in writing um, by mid to late December. So fingers crossed. Yeah. So general information that event that current restriction due to COVID-19 continued through to 2022. The dad cannot guarantee that the courses of study can take place in the form described here. But I'm sure they will always have I mean, flexibility around that. Now, these are the courses that you um, are aligned for people that could um, are in Ghana. This is analysis and design of social protective system in Hoshosh Born Rangers. Sorry, I tried my best. So you can click on this link. It will take you directly into the um, the the website to apply for the courses and mind you like i said you would have you would have to apply to the school and attach your application form the data application form to the school and be considered for that so these are the courses that if you are a Ghanaian, you would be eligible to apply what courses are you eligible to apply in your country do put in the chat box session if you're having any problems do pop it in with our experience and a um, couple of people i know who have applied for that i'll help to answer your questions so that was it for the application requirements now we would want to come back to this uh, particular platform and go to application procedure now, what I realized for application procedure is that it's still got the same uh, documentation like the um, application requirement. So, like I said, if you want to apply for a particular course in your country, you will need to download this form because it will give you a straight away link as to where you can apply for that part particular course because this is a clickable link. The moment you click on it, it will take you to the particular course i hope you um enjoy this video um please do put in the chat box session if you have any questions like i said earlier on what country are you applying to um i mean from and what questions do you have and do stay tuned i'm attaching a part two of this version where i'm going to use a particular course to apply for the scholarship detailed detailed detail thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe See you same time, part two.